Niners said, eh, Garoppolo, better solution for us. Ryan Tannehill for the Titans, better solution for us. All of these other teams that are constantly spinning their wheels at quarterback. Eh. Now, you might say, well, Dia, yes, of course, the market's going to be slightly less than it could be because Brady's only going to play two years at most, and so you only have this two-year window. That's true, but come on. Let's just go ahead and say that Patrick Mahomes, okay, walks out of the Chiefs complex today and says, all right, guys, I'm playing two more years. I've already accomplished everything I want to accomplish. I'm an NFL MVP, a Super Bowl MVP. I've got two more years left. That's it. I'm going to get 60 million bucks, two years for 60. Who wants it? And then I'm retiring. Every team in the NFL would line up for that. Every team. Every team would be like, we can get Mahomes for two years here? Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, we'll figure this thing out in 2021. We'll figure it out. But Brady didn't have those suitors. He didn't have the same guys lining up because he's not the Tom Brady anymore. And this was so hard for Chris Collinsworth and Tony Romo and the former Patriots to admit. It's very hard for anybody to admit because he's such a beloved figure in the game. But it informed the opinion of A, Will he still Tom Brady? It wasn't his fault, and everybody would want him. Not true, not true, not true. And we get to the point where there were two teams, two, that wanted Tom Brady, two. And he chose the Buccaneers, who went 7-9. and nine. He had the decision of two teams that were sub-500 last year. Tom Brady's choices came down to two teams that missed the playoffs that were under 500. Everything you were told by all of those voices was wrong. That's just the facts. And them's the facts, Jack.